Is FEMA doing what they need to do? I also saw the New York Post headline to cover over the weekend was this huge story they had about a FEMA crew, I believe it was in North Carolina, saying that they, they couldn't go down this one road because there was a road closed sign on it, and that was against their regulations when they had people from, I believe it was the town of... Um, uh, the town of Bat Bat Cave, and they were saying that they wanted. They were saying just just go around the sign, just go around the sign. They wouldn't go around it. You know, is, is this really a situation? And obviously, I was with Elon over the weekend at the rally. Um, he's been highlighting this a lot as well. Is that something that you're seeing? Where, where's the truth here? I, I think it's somewhere in the middle. You know, I, I think TEMA, which is Tennessee's emergency management agency, it has done a really good job in working with our local government to ensure that we're getting all the resources that we need. And there's been no blockades of assistance from TEMA. But, you know, FEMA also suffers from a from a, a perspective of scammers. You know, this has been a very pretty common in our area and in counties throughout East Tennessee and Western North Carolina, where people are literally pretending to be FEMA agents and trying to derive and steer off of the people getting donations and rescues being able to happen to make a quick dollar. So I think this distrust of FEMA is palpable, but it's also dealing with a scam from people who are wanting to grift off the backs of people who are suffering. So there, there's, I, I do think that there are some some barriers and you know some walls being put up from FEMA because, like I've said, the federal response has not been as good as we would have hoped for, and local leaders are having to step up, but we're also dealing with our own grifters that are literally trying to pose as FEMA agents to grift off the back of of those who are suffering the most. So that we're dealing with a lot of different problems. I think that we need local leadership and we need people like Glenn Jacobs and others to ensure that we can look to other resources besides FEMA that already has sort of a distrust and not to suffer from scammers like we're seeing throughout the region.